Welcome to the Week in Review, the show that brings you up to date on the week that was. Here are the top stories. RBI indicates there's more room for a rate cut. Rupee continues its topsy-turvy ride. And Hero Motor Corp unveils new plans. The week started on a positive note with RBI Deputy Governor Subir Gokan indicating that there is now more room to bring down interest rates. According to Gokan, easing inflation combined with falling crude oil prices will help the situation. On the other hand, he said high food prices, a battered rupee and a large fiscal deficit continued to stoke inflation. Gokan's comments come before RBI's next monetary policy review due this month. Last government figures show growth in India had fallen to just 5.3% GDP in the quarter ending March 2012. Moving to other news, with the global economy in the doldrums leading to sluggish exports, the government announced some initiatives to give the sector a boost. On Tuesday, Commerce Minister Anand Sharma unveiled new measures as part of the government's foreign trade policy. For one, it extended two key schemes until March end 2013. These are the interest subsidy scheme and the export promotion capital goods scheme. The other set of measures aim to encourage import substitution, a move the government hopes will narrow the country's trade deficit. Exporters can use scripts to pay for excise on domestic procurements. India's exports grew about 21% in the last fiscal, but the country's trade deficit for that period stands at about $185 billion. And construction firm l and Infrastructure Development Projects backed a major contract in Western India. On Wednesday, the company won the bids to develop two road projects that will pass through Maharashtra and Gujarat. The projects will cost Rs 4,800 crores. Special purpose vehicles belonging to LNT IDPL have signed contracts with the National Highways Authority of India. The projects will be on a build, operate, transfer model. An RIL chief, Mukesh Ambani, made some key announcements in the company's AGM on Thursday. Ambani announced that his company is looking at investing 1 trillion rupees over the next 10 years. He also said the company aims at doubling operating margins in this period. Interestingly, Mukesh Ambani hinted at forming more partnerships, a strategy which the Petrochem major has only employed in recent years. RIL plans to set up a gas cracker in Jamnagar that will be among the largest in the world. Moving on, India's battered currency showed signs of improvement during the week but couldn't sustain the recovery. The currency dropped 61 paise to close at 55.55 on Friday. During the week, it ended trade at 55.36 to the dollar with a gain of 28 paise followed by a 34 paise rise to close at 55.17. If you're an automobile engineer, this might be a good news for you. Auto major Maruti Suzuki announced that it would be adding around 1,900 employees to its workforce this year. These would be mainly engineers and members for the management team. The company plans to invest about 25 lakhs on a web-based training academy that would link the company with its dealers, suppliers and Suzuki group entities in the country. And here are some stories in brief. Ahead of RBI's mid-quarter review later this month, the country's largest lender, State Bank of India, slashed its fixed deposit rates by 0.25%. The bank last revised its fixed deposit rates in April. This came following RBI's decision to cut key interest rate between 0.5 to 0.8% in its annual credit policy. The new rates would be effective from Friday. The country's biggest two-wheeler firm announced its expansion plans for the next two years. Hero Motor Corp's CEO, Pavan Munjal, unveiled 2,575 crores worth of investments. The money will pay for two new manufacturing plants, one in Rajasthan and the other in Gujarat. It will also fund a new R&D centre. The expansion is expected to bring total capacity to 9 million units from the current 6.4 million. And finally, despite the Med Department forecasting a normal monsoon this year, rains have already fallen short by 36% in the first week ending June 6th. Monsoons that are expected to hit Indian mainland by 1st of June were delayed by almost a week. The four-month-long rainy season doesn't affect the crops initially, but its distribution in mid-July covers the entire country, which is more important for the crops. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.